I've got more hair than ever, so there's really no better time to subscribe to the channel. Pit Viper Entertainment Network 15, that's Pen15. Subscribe now. Anybody who's been following along the video series here on YouTube probably remembers my van that I've been working on. Couple quick updates, I got my elevated bed back here with space underneath for all my stuff. Clothes down here. Got some literature back here. A couple of these floating around. I put a window in back here. This is very cool, it slides. Still no electricity, still nothing you really need, no bathroom. YouTube videos haven't been getting enough views, so my boss kind of suspended my pay. Big time pay cut, big pay cut. No longer making enough money to pay rent, so I'm sleeping in the van. I got a bunch of pit vipers. I got some diapers. The van's not so bad, it's a little hot in here today. I'm just kidding everybody, I didn't get evicted. I'm sure some of you have noticed that I've been absent on YouTube for a few weeks, but that's just because I was moving to a new state. I got a big furry hog. Wake up buddy, we're filming a video. And seeing as I just moved, I figured I'd give you a tour of the new place. First stop on the tour, this is a medium sized bag of my hair that I cut a couple months ago. If you're interested in buying this hair, let me know in the comments section below. And then maybe I'll list it for sale on eBay or something. Next up, over here, just a miscellaneous bag of hair. Not sure where this one came from. Very dark. I believe I got it in the mail. Pretty good size, pretty good amount. And it's sealed off nice, so there's no worries about getting it in my bed or anything. If you wanna follow me in here, we've got our extremely lazy cat here. Right now he's just a little sleepy, so we're gonna let him stay there. Whoops, sorry, I'm a little dizzy. Uh, let's see, up here, very small amount of hair. Not sure where this bag came from either, but I'm pretty sure I got it in the mail from one of you. Thanks so much for the hair. Put that right back up there. Ooh, I want some coffee. Put my coffee down right here. So this bag is cat hair. Got this in the mail as well. I don't remember when or from who. That one's a little different than other hair because it's from a cat instead of a person. So that one's special and you're gonna wanna hold on to that. I'll put it right there next to my coffee. Follow me in here. Where'd I put it? Oh yeah, just a couple envelopes, quite a bit of hair. That one's got some lint in it. This one came in the mail from Splant RS several months ago, Madison, Wisconsin. We've got some more hair, another envelope. More cat hair. Pretty good stuff right there. So I like to keep that in here. Because they are open envelopes, I just like to keep them down there so the hair is kind of contained in one area. Next up, bring you over here. This is my most impressive bag of hair, I think. It's a very large bag, and there's lots of different varieties in there. There's many different bags. Lots and lots of bags of hair. One, two, three, four. Several envelopes, and then of course just Tons of hair down in the bottom. I see some black hair, some blonde hair, some fuzzy hair, another bag, just a little pinch there. So this is where I eventually, when I get sick of the smaller bags, I'll consolidate all my hair into this big bag. But I like keeping that one right there. For the final stop of the tour, I like to keep this bag up in the cupboard because it's a special bag. It's the biggest bag of hair from a single person. My friend Gavin Rudy gave me all this hair when he was passing through Salt Lake City in April. So thanks Gavin, shout out. Great bag of hair. He's got really curly hair, so it's a really dense wad. Make sure I get that back up there with the snacks. Thanks for joining me on the tour. Hope you got something out of it. If you live in Tucson or nearby, hit me up in the comments. Maybe we can film a video or something. Maybe we can get some coffee or something. But that's about it. That's the the extent of my hair tour. Pit Viper makes a variety of sunglasses. They have several points of adjustment. One is the turbo adjustment over here. We have the e-spot adjustment that will go back in there. The e-spot adjustment over here on the side. Oh, hey, I'm filming something right now. You gotta get off the table. Get off the table. But Sorry, you're a good kitty. You're a good boy. You like that? You like scratches? How about the belly? You like the belly? Oh, you don't like the belly? You're gonna bite me? You're gonna kick me? Ow! Stop it! Let go, you bastard. Okay, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Pit Vipers are very durable. Some are Z87 certified. All of them have a smudge-proof, smear-proof, and liquid 
water-resistant lens. Some of the lenses are polarized. To properly fit your pit vipers, once you've adjusted the turbo adjustment and the e-spot adjustment, they should fit properly. Please ignore the moles on my head. Thank you. Hey, welcome to YouTube today. I'm just looking into some of the top search results for Pit Viper on Google. Why is Pit Viper? Why is Pit Viper popular? Why is everyone breaking Pit Vipers? That one's easy. The answer is because perhaps people are seeing me, a Pit Viper employee, smashing Pit Vipers on YouTube and then they are going and smashing them on their own. Why are Pit Vipers on sale? The answer to that one is that Pit Vipers are not on sale and if you're buying them on sale, you're getting scammed. How much Pit Vipers? That's a fun one. How to clean your Pit Viper sunglasses. About a month ago, I already did a video on how to clean your Pit Vipers, but I kind of made it a joke and I showed you how to not really clean your Pit Vipers and I put sunscreen on them and I used sandpaper and I made a salad with oil and vinegar using Pit Vipers. So I didn't really show you how to clean your Pit Vipers. And then my boss told me that I have to actually show you how to clean your Pit Vipers because I didn't do a very good job. So uh, let me take a moment here to show you how to do it. So to clean your pit vipers, you simply will breathe on them, and then you wipe it off with the limp cloth that's provided with your pit vipers. So we got some hows in there. Let's try what. Which pit vipers are polarized? First, you go to the pit viper website. Which pit viper website is real? Pitviper.com. Then you click on the pit viper scroll down menu, and then you click on the button that says polarized lens. That's how you figure out which pit vipers are polarized. You just have to go to our extremely user-friendly website and do a little bit of reading. If you do know how to read, our website can answer many other questions you might have. How to tell fake Pit Viper sunglasses. There's a link for that on the bottom of the website. You can also submit photos to be featured on our Instagram. You can apply for a job and you can find other legit places to buy Pit Vipers. Which Pit Vipers should I get? Which Pit Vipers to get? Do you want to add to my hair collection? Send me some in the mail. Trevor Jansen, P.O. Box 3001, Tucson, Arizona, 85702. Send me some other shit too. Maybe some money, some artwork. Send me whatever you want. Maybe you'll be in the next video.